The story behind VIP shop management, um, which is my story. I was born in Lebanon, middle child, uh, super naive. My parents sent me here when I was 19. Uh, I started working for the first time in my life as an old change technician. And I was going to school for computer programming in 2002. I took my first computer programming class, which was called back then Microsoft Access. And uh, what happened is uh, I skipped the first week and I went to, I saw, and I went the second week and I saw a beautiful girl and I went to ask her what happened the last week. Uh, the girl looked at me from head to toe and turned her back. I was super furious. I went and sat back in, uh, in the last, in the last seat by the wall and the instructor asked me, did you do your homework? I was like, this is my first week. And then after the class ended, I went uh, and I bought the book because I didn't have the book either. I went and bought the book and I went all the way to chapter 11. And uh, at that time when I was working at All Change Technician, I was helping uh, the owner of creating invoices, uh, handwriting, and I was like, man, he was suffering, uh, like uh, entering the, calculating the sales tax on the calculator and adding it up, it was a, it was a hassle. So by doing the Microsoft Access, I knew I can create a software that solved this problem. So what I did, I just created a database and I created um, just a form, basically just like whatever you see here, just in the simplest possible way. And I went back to class the second week and uh, the instructor saw it, he was blown away, he couldn't believe it. He gave me A that moment in front of the whole class and he made everybody, including that work, and including that girl to work on that project. And so I, I even asked the, uh, the, the instructor if I could leave. He said, uh, he said no, but I still got an A, it didn't matter. Uh, fast forward, I was you know, still going to class. and was one of the top mechanics uh, where I was at because I was using my knowledge as a computer programmer and you know, diagram using old data for uh, for diagrams and, and uh, so I was really one of the top mechanics uh, like uh, if I wasn't there like they, literally they were hurting uh, and so and, and when I graduated I graduated uh, and uh, I went to get a, a, a job and uh, I had an application at HP and one of the instructors was there and he's and the instructor was in, the, the person who was in charge of the project he was my instructor, but the problem is he's the only instructor I didn't get along with and he was teaching me JavaScript back then I, and I did get a B plus on his class even though I was late every time I walked his class and the reason I was late because I had to drive so long I was working as a technician mechanic so I was always scratched up and oily and all that and uh, but I remember we had an altercation where he said you cannot come to the class late and I said well I was paying for school at that time I said uh, just give me my money back and uh, and uh, I will, I'll stop coming to the class and he I think he took it to heart so uh, when when I had the interview I didn't even remember him so uh, there was three people there two of them were, were loving me because you know I'm unusual an unusual character when it comes to programmers usually they're shy I'm the opposite of that and uh, those two love me and this guy is hating on me because I can tell he's, he's asking weird questions and uh, finally, he finally at the end of the interview, he said, "Do you remember me?" I said, "No." He said, "I, I was your instructor." I was like, "Oh," and I was like, "Ah, yeah." And then I knew obviously I wasn't getting the job. I did not get the job, uh, so I ended up opening VIP Auto Repair. Uh, the first two months when I opened VIP Auto Repair, I had a partner with me, and uh, he actually he came up with the name VIP. Uh, I'm not gonna take credit away from. Uh, from people, uh, uh, actually, I had the, the, uh, the same ideology where let's name it after my name, Marks Auto Repair, which I hate that. I'm glad he, he saved me. And uh, anyway, we opened in an auto repair shop, and he, because his dad owns an auto repair shop, and he knows how good I am, so uh, he really did help me a lot. And but when, when we first opened our repair shop, we, stand, we saw handing writing invoices like, oh hell no, it ain't gonna happen on my watch. I'm gonna create a software <laughs> for for this shop, and uh, he said, "Okay, go ahead, it's fine." And so I went home. And it took me 90 days. I came up with the first version of VIP ever uh, that can be used in a in a shop. So and and I I, I kind of worked more on the, on the invoice itself versus uh, 
working on uh, on how the software looked. So as long as it was functional, I would start adding it to it. Uh, two years into the business, uh, the partnership didn't work out because he didn't have a job and uh, the business wasn't really making money. So it we were her and either we had to close or I bought, I bought it out. So I started looking for jobs at that time. I did find a job and I was like, oh my God, I don't know, man, should I take the job? And the job offered me $90,000, which is literally I wasn't making any money at the shop. But I didn't. Die. I ended up saying, you know what, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm just gonna, I, I told him I'll buy you out instead of, instead of giving the shop away after all this work. We did, our biggest mistake was, and uh, that was probably majorly my mistake. We were focusing on making the shop look good and have a great equipment, but we didn't focus on the, on the customer aspect. We didn't have customers. So it doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't have customers, uh, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna succeed. So so what I did when I bought the shop from him, I was I was updating VIP shop management, keep in mind frequently as I need it. Uh, keep in mind, I never used the shop management software. I did use all data diagrams, but I never used uh, shop management software. And uh, when, uh, when that happened, uh, uh, when, uh, so I didn't know how a shop management software would work. And so when I started designing VIP shop management, I started designing our needs. Uh, would be nice to add, you know, the list right there. How do you even start right here? Click on new customer. All this stuff was designed from, from the need of, of creating a shop management inside the shop, behind the desk, speaking to the customer. So when I bought my uh, my partner out, uh, so I start working even harder now because I'm the only guy, I'm the only person. And uh, before we were had to divide the money in uh, like into two sections, like you know divide by half. Now now even though it wasn't making as much money, but because I didn't have to divide it in uh, by 50%, it was good money, enough money for me to get me going. And the moment I start working and everything working good, I, I, I got a divorce. Uh, I really didn't want to get divorced. I'm not, I'm not this type, I'm the guy who will stick with it uh, to the end, but she wanted a divorce. And uh, so here I am, I'm, I'm pushed backward all the way. Uh, when you get divorced in the United States, it's not like you go back to zero, you go back uh, under zero. Uh, because child support, especially when you have a kid and all that, and you're heartbroken and all that. So. That was in 2015, and uh, so 2016, I was really, like beginning of 2016, I was really hurting, and then um, I start, I said, I gotta focus on the shop. Keep in mind, I wasn't upgrading it. From 2015 to 2016, uh, there was no update for VIP shop management whatsoever, and I started focusing on the shop. I built the shop, so I started making serious money at that time in 2016, and I hired mechanics in the uh, store was starting to take it away, so I didn't have to do everything by myself. At the end of 2016, in December 2016, I, again, I wasn't updating VIP shop management whatsoever. Um, I was all alone uh, on, uh, on Christmas, and I hated it, because my whole life I've been alone on Christmas, and my kid was away from me, and I was like, this is, it ain't gonna happen like this. I've got to do something, so I started learning. Uh, be, prior to that, I was learning from uh, uh, the millionaire maker. Uh, his name was Jim Rohn, so I was just trying to learn the philosophy of being a millionaire, of how to become a millionaire. And I understood that at the shop, for me to become a millionaire uh, from our repair shops, I have to have multiple shops, and it was already headaches having one shop on its own. Uh, so I knew my exit is not the auto repair shop. It's, it has to be the software that I created. And uh, in December 25th, um, uh, what I did, I recreated the software from scratch. I was like, man, I have to make a, a, a version of it where I can sell it. Uh, so it took me 90 days from December all the way to the end of uh, February. Um, uh, and uh, I finished the first version. Before the VIP shop management, you couldn't add like your shop information. It was, you know, embedded to the software, so I had to rewrite all this, and uh, and I finished it. I was like, how I'm gonna sell it? Amazon is my only answer, so I put it in a box. I know a lot of a lot of customers got that box. <laughs> That's a box with a sticker that says VIP Shop Management. It was inside of it was a flash drive, and uh, it was a piece of paper. I had to install it with the product key. Some people, a lot of customers, still have that piece of paper. 
And so I did everything by myself. Keep in mind that nobody helped me when it comes to the software. Nobody, nobody helped me when it comes to even the packaging. Eventually, uh, like my employees started helping me put the boxes, but it was all me at first. And I, I put the box in the, I wanted to send it to uh, Amazon and uh, I kind of get scared. I was like, man, nobody's going to buy this. So I left it in the car for like uh, probably 30 days. And then I was like, what the hell? What's the worst going to happen? Amazon will send it back to me. So I sent it to Amazon and, uh, and Amazon, uh, and Amazon, like, like after, after 60 days of being listed on Amazon, nobody called except one person. Uh, somebody out of the blue, one of my employee answers like, yeah, this guy is calling about VIP shop management. It uh, was a customer from Pennsylvania. And he said, yeah, I'm interested. And uh, I was like, I, used, I couldn't believe it. I was super excited. So I sold it to him, he bought it and I helped him install it. And, uh, and then uh, and there's a company, uh, his name, I, I just want to make sure, I want to mention him for sure. First customer he bought it was, first customer he bought it was the Bros Auto Service in Pennsylvania. And after that, there's another customer, it's called Smart Auto Service. These customers still use VIP Shop Menu until today. That They bought it in 2017 actually, before we even had a company called VIP Shop Management. And one of the biggest names between all of them is uh, Old Pro Center. He was the fourth. And Automotive Solution was the number fifth. Automotive Solution, it's in Illinois. It's a company, they sell $1.6 million. And they start with VIP with us and they were busy from, from the get-go, so. Anyway, so after that, you know, uh, so th this is when the momentum started. The, a lot of customers started buying it from Amazon. And then you got to understand, like, I'm busy at work and I, I like there was no help. I have to design this. I have to design this button. I have to design this. I have to program it. I have to make it work. I have to test it. I have to put it on production. I have to upload it. I have to create the website. I have to create another software that run all these things. All I have to do, all this stuff. And it could not be, if I wasn't divorced and I was going through a hard time and I was born in love, there's no way I would do that because you gotta be a little bit crazy to, to start something like this and do everything by yourself. Even Elon Musk didn't do what I did because he only did it for a short period of time. I've been doing it for years now and life doesn't care whether you did it for seven years or you did it for five years, you still have to wait for the, your window of opportunity to make it happen. Uh, some people do it for the rest of their life and never happen, but you get, that's why you gotta, you gotta put yourself in a good position, you gotta know people and that's something I've been learning. You gotta learn uh, sales skills, you gotta become a salesman, all this stuff. Anyway, fast forward 2018, uh, I, I registered VIP Shop Management as an in incorporation and uh, I've had some customers. I started working on the second generation and the second generation got a lot better. And then the third generation got a lot better. Again, no help, zero. I'm the programmer, <laughs> I'm the designer, I'm the tester, I'm the marketing guy. And I didn't run any ads. So the customers were talking to each other. I think the problem in our industry, being a mechanic and a shop owner that helped me a lot. If you ask me, Mark, would you do this if you were in a shop owner? Hell no, because you don't understand. Like that's why in our uh, in our business, there's not a lot of companies doing this because it's really hard. There's requirement from the states. Uh, you gotta understand the life of a mechanic to even do it. Uh, even Chop Monkey himself and all they they were backed up. They're backed up by 110 million dollar, and I don't see them far away from me because they don't understand what I understand. You cannot buy the experience you gotta live the experience you cannot sit under a welding and welding exhaust and and your face burn you cannot buy that that's called experience you cannot sit behind a customer and trying to catch him out in the fastest way possible that's called experience and i know i think they bought a shop and they're trying to learn the experience right now yeah good luck with that that's not the same so anyway um 2018 2019 uh, yeah, VIP start making more money, more than, uh, uh, more than my shop itself. So I was like, okay, and uh, it's too much already. Handling VIP shop management by myself, it's too much. If you look 
uh, via uh, shop monkey they have 113 uh, inside on the website they have over 113 uh, uh, employee one employee doing the job of 113 employee how is that even possible uh, it cannot be done how do you know everything mark I'm telling you if it wasn't for the circumstances it cannot be done I'm not a genius whatsoever I'm just a guy who has been hurt through his life and and instead of uh, complaining about it I just use this this pain to create something and uh, that's about it so I'm not no genius I'm just a normal person I was good in math my whole life that's about it but I'm just a, I'm just a, I'm just a normal person but how can one person versus 116 employees do it it cannot be done on paper go on and do it, it can't be done uh, I did it uh, because based on my knowledge so I combined my computer programming knowledge even though I never worked in the industry thanks to my instructor who didn't let me <laughs> and uh, I didn't work in the in computer business industry computer programming I, I wish I did because I would have acquired a lot of knowledge but it's okay I had I worked in as a shop owner and I was uh, worked as a mechanic so I understand this so I combined those two and the VIP shop management was born uh, I believe we're still at the beginning I mean we have over 1300 uh, shops right now uh, across the country in Canada and we'll continue on growing um, we have uh, partners right now uh, thanks to our partners the first partner that made VIP shop management possible I have to thank is Carfax uh, if it wasn't for Carfax, Carfax gave me the push because by decoding the license plate, um, it was a big deal. Then uh, Fisher was part of it. Then Tire Hub was part of it. And then uh, the next, uh, no, Arizona was part of it. I convinced Arizona to be part of it. The next part was part of it. And then uh, Bumper to Bumper uh, reached out to me in 2019, I believe, was part of it, or 2020, something like that. And then uh, speed dial, I had to add speed dial. And then uh, now repair link is becoming part of it. Actually, we just signed some paperwork and, uh, and they sent me the API. So this, it's gonna be an API. Uh, it's gonna be a repair link button pretty soon. Identifix, we're trying, they're trying to be part of it. And it's gonna continue to grow. Uh, VIP shop management was, it's a genuine company because the person behind it is a genuine person. Um, uh, everything about it is genuine there's nothing to it it was just hard work it wasn't money like if you we if we want to compare VIP shop management versus shop monkey you're comparing money uh, versus hard work you're comparing 113 employee with 110 million dollar versus zero money and uh, and and one person and that's just crazy I think a lot of customers uh, who's part of VIP shop management, they just love the story of BMP and part of VIP shop management because they do know, uh, even back in the back head, that there's something big is going to come out of this. And I know there's something big, and it's not just VIP shop management. There's something big is going to come out of this because the knowledge, the person that I became working so hard like this, it's, a, it's so much knowledge in it. It's, uh, it's all to me right now is to put this knowledge and to create a product that changed the world and this can happen sooner or later the moment I have help inside VIP shop management company somebody can take over and help me out the moment I start working on something bigger than this and uh, but the relationship that we created between me and my customer is like this man and, and that's never gonna change um, I spoke to ev almost, I believe everybody, I don't know if there's one user of VIP shop management that I haven't spoke to. And, um, and uh, they love me, I love them back, I appreciate it. What, again, I don't care how good you are, if you're not a, if you don't have customers, it doesn't matter how good your shop management is. So the, the really the customers and their, their, their like bros are a service and, and smart are a service and automotive solution. and and two guys from Sweden and all these customers the first customer that buy VIP shop management if it wasn't for them this could not be happen uh, because you need an encouragement somehow to continue you cannot do this that's why so I know I was alone but I really wasn't because these customers were behind it 
they were supporting it. They didn't want to pay three hundred fifty dollars to a month to old data or Shop Monkey at that time. I don't know if Shop Monkey was around. So yeah, so that's why that that's that's how it happens. Um, our goal right now is to continue improving it. I mean, it's already like really, really good and really strong. And the cloud uh, uh, VIP shop management is really amazing. So we always so we have a gap. Well, how could we sell it? Can can you gotta ask yourself a question? Can can Shop Monkey the three hundred fifty dollars sell it for ninety nine dollars? Of course not. It's impossible. They have hundred ten million dollars in in debt. Somebody's gonna pay this money just because somebody invested. That doesn't mean they they don't want their money back. Yes, they do. Um, another thing, the difference between the CEO of, of, of Shop Monkey versus the CEO of VIP Shop Management. The CEO of Shop Monkey has to listen to the investors. I have zero people to listen to. I make my own decisions. I love this. He's an employee for them. If I have investor, I'm an employee for them. Me, I look at it, I'm an employee for my customers. I have no problem with that. But I am the decision maker. He's not. He's not. He gotta go check with them. If 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 they're not making money, they're not happy. <laughs> he's in trouble. So I look at it. What's the what's the difference between the VIP shop management CEO and founder versus uh, shop monkey CEO and founder? ShopMonkey CEO and founder is like he's carrying something, he's like heavy, he's carrying something walking, his back is broken. Uh, VIP shop management is free, can turn left and right and that's, that, that's given me the ability to push forward and make a hard decision when I need to, when I need to, when I need to just like that, uh, the ability to make it cheaper. Uh, the gap between VIP shop management 350 versus 99 that's not 2x 3x and a half 3x and a half well, somebody would say well Mark you don't have labor uh, guide yet I'm already in talk with motor and they're trying to make up something for us that work but I don't want here's my problem with the labor guide why don't I've been holding up on labor guide that much where I'm a shop owner and I understand VIP shop management is not going to have the remove and replace. So you're always going to need all data or identifix or pro demand. If I add labor guide from motor, now the customer has to pay for labor guide twice. One for, for all data or, or identifix and one for me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I cannot justify that. You gotta understand. I gotta look at things from a shop owner perspective because I used to be one. No, I don't want to charge the customer twice. So I came up with a better idea what to have to add Identifix right here where it selects the card automatically. You can do all this stuff and you only have to pay once for that. We are a shop management system. We're not a remove and replace and all that. We're not a repair system. Let them be good at this and let us be good at that. Let them master this and let us master the shop management system. So yeah, this is uh, the story behind VIP shop management. Um, we'll see man, we're still at the beginning. Um, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm interested, I just want to thank every customer. Whether you're in the cloud, you bought a one-time payment, you have even if you have bad motives <laughs> and buy VIP shop management, I don't care. Uh, number two, keep in mind that I don't hold grudges whatsoever. If we, if I argued with, if we had an argument, it doesn't matter to me. I can speak to you the second day. Uh, I believe every customer is important, regardless. Um, I believe there's the, the, our customers, you know, split between, you know, uh, a certain level in their lives and some are on the cloud, some of not on the cloud. I believe even the customers that are not using. The, VIP cloud at some point they'll switch it's just a matter of time uh, for new customers we have two options you can start with the fee at $55 if you cannot afford the $99 instead of uh, shop monkey all data Mitchell one it does the job our invoice looks better than, than anyone else in and, uh, and uh, I don't know man just be part of just being part of VIP is something really cool and here's what I say I hope and I pray, uh, and I don't use these two words a lot because I still have to do the job, that to create something 
Now somebody told me one time, Mark, if, if VIP shop management became a public company, please let me know so I can buy some stocks. <laughs> Anyway, also I can say I can't promise that. All I can say I hope and pray and I come up with something even bigger than VIP shop management and everybody benefit from being part of VIP shop management. So if you're thinking about should I go with VIP shop management or shop monkey or all data or Mitchell one, choose VIP shop management because VIP shop management has an advantage over all these companies. And the advantage is we have zero debt. Zero debt. Do you understand that? Means we haven't even started yet. Zero debt. And look where we are. One person. One person versus 113 versus 500. I don't know how much one, how many customers, they, how many employees they have. One person. And I believe all the, 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 the VIP users are excited of being part of this journey. And I all I appreciate you all. And let's continue on doing this and let's see how far we can go. That's about it. And use VIP shop management. I love the system and, and enjoy it and save time. Always I talk about time. Anyway, until next time, I appreciate you guys and thanks for watching.